Hey there, happy Monday. Can you believe it's Monday again already? It's finally summer, and someday maybe it'll stop raining in central Indiana. Or maybe not. We'll just have to find out. Hope all is going well. I am Lainey Stump. I help people make better choices in the food they eat and the products they use. And this summer we're doing easy steps to wellness, and we are already on week five. We've been doing this for five weeks. This week, we are gonna be focusing on eat this, ditch that. Basically, food swaps. What can you change out um, for healthier choices? That's what I'm all about. So what are your kryptonite foods? The ones that you um, can't stay out of when they're on the kitchen counter. The ones that when they're at a party, you're all over it. The ones that when they're on the drive through menu, your car goes there whether you want it to or not. What are your kryptonite foods? Um, let me know in the comments. And mine used to be a McDonald's french fries. I never imagined that I would be able to say no to a McDonald's french fry when it's hot and salty and fresh. And now, I gotta tell you, I'm not even kidding. I, I'm not tempted a bit. Um, but when I let that junk sneak back into my life, um, I start craving it. Um, the junk, I want more junk. Um, and that's what's sending your body on those roller coasters, um, blood spikes, when your blood sugar is going up and down and up and down your body starts craving whatever it is that is causing those spikes. Doesn't that sound like it's addiction? Yep, heck yeah. It's food slavery is what that is. So back in week two, we talked about kicking sugar to the curb. That is your number one thing to swap out. Swap out sugar for plant-based sweeteners. I'll link back to those posts in the comments so it's easier to find. Um, so check that out so you can, that's your job for today. If you haven't seen that before is to go and learn about what sweeteners to swap out. Um, when I started eating this way, I was very intentional about trying to find healthy choices for every element of every meal that had previously been unhealthy. For example, like spaghetti and meatballs is a huge favorite around here. And so for regular white pasta, I'd switch out Dreamfields pasta, which we'll probably talk about Dreamfields pasta at some point in the future. Um, I'd switch out, you know, the garlic bread I was serving for a low carb bread. I'd switch my regular spaghetti sauce to a frozen, frozen, to a sugar free spaghetti sauce. And then um, a pack of frozen meatballs would be swapped out for just fresh Italian sausage. Um, so, you know, I just go through, what can I make, what choices can I make better in this meal? I didn't want to feel like I was missing out or giving something up. Now, my family might enjoy a treat like Texas toast or something once in a while. And most of the time, I don't even bother making myself a low carb bread product because I don't need it. Um, I, I'm eating yummy, healthful, f delicious foods all day long and so I don't long for the junk but I've arrived here after six years and we're all a work in progress so again baby steps small steps think about what your favorite things are to eat um, if they're not helpful at this point I'm sure somewhere someone has made a healthier choice so let me know if you need help converting some of your family favorite meals if you want a glimpse into what we eat on a regular basis, last week I posted a menu planning class and there's several resources there that can be a good jumping off point for revamping some of your family favorite meals. So feel free to share this video or any of my resources or tag a friend in the comments. And that's all I've got for today. Um, tomorrow I'll come back with some more easy swaps. So have a good one. Bye.